up and awesome. Got our angel. We got our angel. Got a coat of flow coat. Water is never a turn because. She was old and neglected, so we cut her to bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. Hey guys, welcome back to another week of La Sailing Lady Africa and boat building and all the stuff that we get up to. Um, to everyone that supports us on Patreon, thank you so much. You guys are the reason this production is still running. And uh, just to give you a ba basic example, last year in YouTube ad revenues didn't even cover our uploading fees. So you guys made it happen. So big, big thank you guys for keeping us uploading every week. And keeping we have us afloat. <laughs> now keeping us afloat. Uh, big thanks guys, really, really appreciate it. Um, to everyone else that also did the PayPal things, Big thank you. We really appreciate yeah, it. No. It goes a long way for us, and um, hopefully one of these days we'll be in the water. Soon, soon. We're working late nights every single night. We've got our last to-do list, and we're getting through it. So good. Enjoy the episode, guys. Thanks so much for giving us a big thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't already. We went to go measure up our new engine to ensure it would fit in our engine bay and chose the colour that we would have liked it to be painted. So this is the engine that we went with and it's a Suzu 4 cylinder, very basic, straightforward, no electronics. And we'll just show us quickly how we start the engine. So, straightforward, basic. Obviously we're going to have it to a key mechanism, but it's straightforward, there's no electronics. One turn of the key, engine starts, and it's beautiful man, I'm super stoked. The engine, and these guys do a proper job. We got the exhaust the way we wanted, which was four on one side, and then we're gonna rebuild all of this in stainless steel with a flat baffle, and uh, then I'll put a cooling system over this, which runs through our raw water system, then the standard marine exhaust onto that. Happy dance. We got our angel. We got our angel. And a fat bird. <laughs> but we got our angel. This is brand new. She looks flippin' awesome. I think it's gonna work like a dream. We'll see when everything starts mating up. That it's out perfect. She's awesome. She's awesome. Super basic, straightforward, brand new. And um a fifth of the price of what a marine engine would cost us. So we are at the engineering guys, John Durkin in Port Elizabeth, and this is their setup. You can check, like, they're pretty extensive on what they do. We're gonna pick up our engine, and we're gonna stick it in the back of our Pajero. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky and Basil got working on our modifications to make her a marinized engine. So we have our Basil and what we're doing is we're using his offices. Thank you very much to you Basil. And uh, so this is our exhaust manifold that used to, that was, that comes off our new engine. And obviously this is a standard exhaust and we want to make this water cool. So we need to get all of these into CAD and then we're going to take that and get this all cut out of stainless steel. And then we'll do our whole buildup of exhaust that's encased with water flowing through it with the mixing elbow afterwards and so we need to get all of that drawn up so that's what we're doing
They encountered some stubborn seized bolts and tried all methods of removing it, resulting in it getting drilled out in the end. So 10 o'clock at night, we're calling it today. We've got it drawn. She printed out, let's check what it looks like. So yeah, there's our adapter plate. So now we can hook up our bell housing to our engine, so we sorted. Big thanks, Basil, big thanks. We then started cutting our parts for our wet exhaust. So we're in our garage now, it's probably like 10 o'clock at night and we're trying to get the table kicked out. So we've got one coat of high bulb uh, primer, we're going to put two coats, two baby key coats and then sand it down to get it nice and smooth and then we'll put the polyurethane top coat and this is the bottom side of our table. And then the top side we're going to wrap a layer of four mica that's there in the corner. So yeah, that's what it takes to get this freaking thing done. We're in crunch time, we want to get it finished. Yep, yeah, that's why we're going to work till late. Whatever it takes. Once she was primed, she got painted with a two part polyurethane paint. Yeah, I told you. We're just for breakfast, man. <laughs> so we had to spend spur breakfast, it's my birthday today, so early spur breakfast and then it's back pumpkin. to work for the team. Pumpkin's birthday. Hey, you pumpkin man. So breakfast done, Moses nice and fat, ready for work. Let's go kick ass. <laughs> we finished up our saloon table by gluing on our formica and routed off all the overhang. It's a birthday boy on this working day. <laughs> birthday boy. Second birthday ball in this freaking boat. We then got started on painting our cockpit sole and engine bay. That's what she looks like now, and tomorrow we'll do some epoxy fairing there and finish it off nicely. And I'm pretty satisfied, she looks good. So some unhearted work in front of a new table, watching sad videos or something. I'm watching a chick for you, darling. 
I'll check how I fit that place. Check at that. Manje? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can. On Kevin. Some fiberglass need to pack away, some vinyl extra. Headliner in, man, she looks sweet. Got a coat of flow coat or pool coat in South Africa. And looking fine, some poxy fairing over there. That we're getting that finished up. Washing machine space still open. Waiting for the but check at that man. Freaking awesome. I'm loving it. Good birthday present. Is the boat boat is nice and clean? My You're beautiful on, wife. Honey. Packed it up. Looking awesome. Show you the head. She's even got a mat in here already. But uh, Ricky still needs to do the the drains. He's been slacking off. And yeah, Simone's cabin. Our cabin. Yeah, our cabin, but also most stuff filled up this whole cabin. But little does she know, once we start sailing, I'll start trimming weight and sending her clothes overboard first. Aww. She doesn't need any. <laughs> Rob from Stampede took us yet on another beautiful cruise, but this time we headed up to Bird Island to check out all the penguins and we were in for a treat with pods and pods of dolphins. Let's see this one right here. Ocean and coffee, what more could you want? How they are in the water, and they compare it to them on the land. Gunpowder. What are you doing, Samani? Water is never returned because the rain never returned. Water of the island. So, yeah, they So we've decided to put our to-do yeah, list up crazy. on I top need to get my two for us to see every day and motivate down. us to finish. And it looks and, uh, we still got a bunch of stuff. The to do. I need the it and masked up and insane. then the last the but we're getting there. So every week, we will take a task off, or hopefully more than one task a week. Take a few and tasks um, off during the week, and then so but truly we'll be getting ready to set out. Stay tuned till next week where we install lithium batteries and install our cockpit windows. If you'd like to join our amazing page and family, the link is below. If you'd like to make a donation towards Lady Africa, you can do so via PayPal. Thanks to Stuart McMichael for your generous donation towards Lady Africa.